Today, I'm excited to take a first look at Synology's brand new DS423 Plus NAS. I do want to thank Synology for sending this to me. However, all of the comments you hear are my own. They have no input on what's going into this video, nor are they approving or seeing this video before it gets uploaded. So the brand new DS423 Plus came out earlier this year in March of 2023. It's equipped with an Intel J4125 quad core processor with integrated graphics. It does support hardware encryption with its hardware encryption engine. It comes with two gig of non ECC memory that's soldered to the board. However, there is an additional slot and this unit can be upgraded to a max of six gig. It has four bays in the front. It supports four 2.5 or 3.5 inch hard drives. It also has two M.2 NVMe slots that can be used for either SSD cache or for storage pools. It is hot swappable except for the M.2 NVMe slots. It supports Synology Hybrid RAID, BTRFS. In the rear of the unit, it has two one gig ethernet ports. However, they are not upgradable and it does come with a three year manufacturer warranty. So let's go ahead now and take a closer look at the unit itself. Okay, we're looking at the DS423 Plus. You can see there's no branding on the top of the unit, but if we flip it to the front, you'll see the four hard drive bays, one, two, three, and four. To open up a hard drive bay, just push on the top and simply pull out the tray. And we'll take a closer look at that in the next video where we'll be installing two hard drives and doing the initial setup. On the side here, you have your status and disk lights. Here's the first of two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and then here's your on and off button. Taking a look at the sides of the units, there's Synology branding on one side and Synology branding on the other side. Let's take a look at the bottom of the unit. You have your four rubber feet for mounting on a desk or on a shelf. Here's your information sticker, which contains the serial number and the MAC addresses for each of the two one gig ethernet ports. And then here are your two M.2 NVMe drive slots. Simply just remove the top cover to install the drives. And then finally on the rear of the unit, you have two cooling fans, two one gig ethernet ports. Here's the second USB 3.2 gen one port. Here's the port for plugging in your external power brick. And then finally a Kensington lock. Okay, so there's a first look at the DS423 Plus. So who do I think this NAS is suited for? Well, definitely for a home user who's interested in running Plex, backing up a few computers, maybe keeping their data local instead of using a cloud storage solution, they could keep their data local by using Synology Drive, small businesses as well. So let me know what you think, put your thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the other videos that I list here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.